Thanks for watching this video. The topic is how to adopt an Nginx app protect into an Nginx controller. With the latest version of the Nginx controller, the version 3.12, that we name it CAS, controller AppSec, we can now add a WAF into a component. What it means? It means now when I deploy an Nginx Plus instance controlled by a controller, I can enable the WAF on top of it. Let me show you. Here I have a controller, okay? The controller is a control plane. It's just controlling the Nginx Plus instances, okay? So I deploy one Nginx instance in front of an application. This application is Arcadia Finance application. It's a banking application, but it's a modern application. This application is running in Kubernetes with four different microservices. And I would like to protect these microservices with uh, lightweight solutions. So as you can see here, I have uh, some uh, stock portfolio, so I could buy and sell stocks from here. This is a main application. I have on the right side money transfer. I can transfer money from from my account to my friends, okay, like or Vincent. And here is a refer friends. I can refer a friend uh, so that he can get some uh, advantages uh, from the bank, and I can get 100 boxes back. So behind everything, there is a, a forced serve microservices, the database, okay? So what I did first in the controller, I created all the services, okay? So I created an application first, this is a bucket. And inside this bucket, I created components. A component is like virtual server and pool members in a big IP. So I have the main app, I have the backend, okay? And the refer friends and the money transfer, okay? So the Free, the free applications in the, in the website. And I would like to protect these, these microservices. So before doing that, let's, let's try to, to make an attack somewhere, okay? So I know this behind this, this field, uh, so let's say I could, uh, I could refer a friend like, uh, like Fouad, okay? So Fouad at, uh, at gmail.com. Uh, Fouad would get an email from the bank and perhaps I could get 100 boxes. But I know that I can do a SQL injection because I do some reverse engineering and I know behind the scene it's a, it's a NoSQL database. And if I send this attack, this attack means please response with everything that is not equal to michael at gmail.com. And if I send the request, I can see all the the content of the database. So Bob the Sponge, Fouad, my name, Nicolas. So I did the SQL injection, okay? So the, the service, the microservice is not protected. It's time to enable the WAF. So on the, on the controller, on the CAS controller AppSec, I have a license, of course, I have a CAS license. Now I will have a new option. So let's go to the main app. Why the main app? Because main app is a front end and all the requests pass through the main app and then redirected from uh, east with traffic to the refer friend or to the money transfer. So if I go to the main app, okay, so as you can see the new look and feel and the new analytics and metrics from, uh, from the control 3.12. If I edit my component, you can see a new menu, security. And the WAF is not enabled. So let's enable the WAF. As you can see here, when I enable the WAF, it's very, very simple. I enable the WAF with the default OWASP top 10 policy from Nginx and from F5, because it's exactly the same between an advanced, an advanced WAF from the big IP and an Nginx app protect. So here, the controller is going to push the OWASP top 10 policy to my Nginx Plus instance. It's an Nginx app protect, of course and uh, I will be protected. I can enable monitoring mode or blocking mode, let's say blocking mode, and I have an option in case of fault positive for a specific signature ID, because perhaps the signature ID is 
not accurate for me, like apostrophe OR in French, it means golden. And I have a golden gate, a golden bridge, a golden city, a golden street. This is signature I used to, I used to disabling in a, in, in a WAF in France. So I could, I could add here my, my signatures ID. Click next. And as usual, if you have a look at the end of your deployment, you can see the, the API call. Okay. So either you use a user interface or you can use an API call. And at the end, this is a new blob for the WAF. Let's submit. So I have to wait a few seconds. The, the controller, because the controller is a control plane, is sending the configuration, the WAF policy to my Engine Express instance, my NAP, okay, to be accurate. So far, so good. Looks like it's configured. So I would just send a new connection to be sure I have a new TCP session and connect with the same account. And now if I do an attack, it should be blocked. Okay, so let's make a try. As you can see, my, my request is blocked. Okay, so I don't see any blocking page yet because this is AngularJS and this is blocked. Uh, the, the, the response, uh, the blocking page is blocked by the Angular. But if I try to do uh, um, cross site scripting, for instance, uh, so it's pretty easy like that. Okay, like a script or script alert, I could uh, I could see the, the blocking page. This is a default blocking page from from the NAP and from the CAS uh, with, a, with a support ID. This is from the user experience, okay? From a SecOps or DevSecOps, uh, there are two new menus on the left side. The first one is a security analytics. On the security analytics, uh, I can have some, you can see some metrics. One is on the WAF metrics, the other one is uh, the suspicious versus the normal traffic from here. And you can see as well the events, the logs, the violations. So it's 809. So I guess this is my two request block for the demo. The first one was a SQL injection. The, the other one was a cross site scripting. If I select one of them on the right side, I can see it has been rejected. Okay, makes sense. Possible attack. Uh, this is the signature ID. So if I copy the signature ID, I can add the signature ID in the exception list. Okay, the exception list in the in the main app component in order to to bypass this uh this this request because it's a false positive or not. The signature name is here. Okay, it's a not not equal. It's perfect. It's exactly what I did. Uh, the endpoint was slash trading slash reference. Okay, when I click send, this is the this is the post uh, or the gate. And uh, here, this is the request itself, okay? And you can see here the, the exactly my request is here, okay? So this is the, the CAS, the controller AppSec. As you can see in less than five minutes, I presented the CAS and how to enable a WAF in front of a microservice. And it's so easy. Just select a component, enable the WAF, check your, log, check your logs, Perhaps you have to do some tuning just to ex to do some exception on specific signature ID and you are good. This is very agile, very lightweight, very easy to deploy. Thanks for watching.